Hey everybody, and welcome back to To Be Like Christ. We're talking about the top 100 Christian questions, and today is number seven, what is meditation? Specifically from a Christian perspective, but let's take a look at the general perspective first. Meditation first appears in the historical record in India about 4000 BC. Forms of meditation appear to be a very important part of early gurus and their disciples. As far as we know, about 600 years before Jesus, the practice spread outside of India and Hinduism and spread to the Taoists and Buddhists. Okay, so what is meditation? Well, that's a hard thing to define because there's a plethora of definitions based on who you ask. A number of differing and contradictory opinions exist as to the goal of meditation, the form, and whether that form should be standardized or flexible to match the individual. But to help us understand the basic principle of meditation, let me read you a definition from a very popular meditation app called Headspace. Meditation isn't about becoming a different person, a new person, or even a better person. It's about training in awareness and getting a healthy sense of perspective. You're not trying to turn off your thoughts or your feelings. You're trying to learn to observe them without judgment and eventually may start to better understand them as well. As you may have gathered, this is a Christian channel, and so rather than debating the different definitions, let's talk about the way that the Bible approaches meditation. Meditation has become much more mainstream over the last few decades, and it has a lot of Christians asking, is there room or a place for meditation in my walk with God? And you might be surprised to find out that the word meditation, or some form of it, appears over 20 times in the Bible, many times in the book of Psalms. When the Bible uses the term to meditate, it's usually talking about time devoted to deep thought on a particular subject. But the topic of the Bible writer's meditations are not usually left open-ended. They're usually focused on a very specific thing. And maybe it's God's identity, his faithfulness, his promises, his law, or his love. Here's a few Bible verses that use the word meditation. I will meditate also of all thy work and talk of thy doings. Mine eyes prevent the night watches that I might meditate in thy word. I remember the days of old, I meditate on all thy works, I muse on the works of thy hands. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. So to the question you're probably wondering, should Christians meditate? The short answer is yes, but rather than looking to ancient Hinduism to define the practice and the intention of meditation, we need to look to the scriptures to discover how and on what we ought to be meditating. God is the center of meditation in the Bible. The more time we devote to understanding and appreciating God, the more we will be in line with the purpose of the universe that he created. And I think Christian meditation is actually one thing that is severely neglected. In a world that keeps us so busy so often, Christians often fail to set aside time to dwell on the precepts and the beauty of God. And our lack of intellectual deep diving often leaves us underwhelmed by the majesty of God and under convicted by the call of God. 